What's good, Joe? Welcome back to a brand new reaction. This time we got a new trailer for Obi Wan Kenobi: A Jedi's Return, which this dropped, yeah, a few days ago. Uh, I'm very late for this one. I actually meant to record this when it came out, but I never got around to it. I also and I just kind of forgot about it. So that's why it took so long for this reaction to come out. But yeah, at first, like a lot of people, I think someone someone mentioned this in the comments. Yeah, that was a season two, but it's a documentary. I thought, wait, did they just announce season two already or something? So I checked and I looked. They scrubbed through. I'm like, oh, it's like a documentary on Obi-Wan Kenobi. All right, okay. Which, by the way, guys, speak of documentaries. Um, during my, during the road, during the road trip when we went from Ridgecrest all the way to, you know, our car, our Tata for the school, uh, for school, uh, I knew it was going to be a long ass drive because the first day, which we were going to Chico for my brother, because that's where he's going to be going to college or university, I should say, that took an eight hour drive, which took me, which apparently was a little bit shorter. The first day for that one was shorter than the first day for the, the road trip we did last year, which you guys know I vlogged on the channel a while ago, which I think that one was like 10 hours or whatever the fuck, how long we were in that car. Either way, I was sick and tired by the end. Either way, I felt just as dead both times regardless. But because I knew I had that, and then we were going to have another four-hour long drive to get from there to Arcata, I knew I had to come prepared. So, on my iPad, which you guys know I rented this from the school, where the school was offering these for the semester, I downloaded a shit, I downloaded a shit ton of stuff from Disney+. Plus. To watch on the trip, to watch on trip. I de I deleted all of it off my office just to save it for the memory or whatever, for the memory. But uh, I made sure. But the first thing I downloaded, well, first off, I also well, I first thing I downloaded was the entirety of the Lights and Magic documentary, which you guys don't know. Documentary on Disney Plus that goes over ILM, I Industry Lights and Magic, the effects, uh, the effects studio, the. Um, yeah, the effects studio that does, you know, basically handles all things Star Wars. They've done other movies, of course, like uh, Transformers they showed off, uh, fucking T2. They've done a bunch of movies for VFX. When it comes to VFX, they've done a lot of shit, you know. So I was kind of like, oh, you know, the, the effects team that did Star Wars. Okay, let's see who got here. And then I saw T2, and I was like, oh, cool, I'm going to see something for T2. You know what I mean? And so I had that phenomenal documentary, man. Loved it. And, yeah, so that's why I'm kind of hyped for this one, because of how good the Lights and Magic documentary was. I'm assuming this one's going to be very similar to that, considering it's also about, about Star Wars. But, yeah, I had that. I downloaded, like, the first, like, 10 to 12 episodes of the 2017 Spider-Man cartoon, just because I wanted to see how bad it is. It's fine. It's good. I, I don't hate it like a lot of people is, but, my God, you know, it's kind of basic, you know? I get why everyone hates on it, and, yeah, and it looks like ass, you know, like, yeah, man, it's okay. I do want to finish it. I do want to watch the entirety of it just to see, just so I've watched it all. But, yeah, it's enjoyable. I'd give it maybe a seven. <laughs> there was some good evidence. And it's weird how many spectacular Spider-Man cast members are in there that are playing completely different characters. Like, they have Josh Keaton in the show, and he's playing fucking Norman. First of all, why the fuck are you bringing in Josh Keaton to play anybody but Spidey? Secondly... He's fantastic as Norman. <laughs> he's great. But I'm like, why did you bring him back if he's not going to play Spidey? Don't get me wrong. The guy that got played uh, Spidey, who, who, got played Spidey, who was voiced by a catchy uh, from Persona 5. He's great. I think he works well for the show. But I'm like, you have Josh Keaton in here. Why, why isn't he play Spidey? You want people to like the show just to make him, just have him as Spidey. And everyone's going to at least moderately tolerate the show. <laughs> It'll be better. It'll be a much better viewing experience at the very least because we know how, how, how good he is. But yeah, that was kind of surprising how many uh, <coughs> Spider Spider-Casmer there are. But yeah, I have that. Oh, jeez. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't know what that was about. Anyway, so yeah, I had that. I also had the document, the making ups for both Shang-Chi and Dr. Strange's Multiverse Madness on there, just in case I had the time to finish it, which I didn't. But yeah. So yeah. All this aside, I'm hyped for this documentary just because of Lights and Met. That is the TLDR of this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's see what they got for this one. I'm curious to see because you guys know I love Obi Wan Kenobi. Probably my favorite all time Star Wars character. Love the show. So yeah. You in? I remember clearly the first time I saw Star Wars. Hello there. Hello there. It's a surreal world. Hayden, yo, we got Hayden here too. Coming Hell back yeah. to it after all these years was very meaningful to me. Damn My straight, first bro. day on set, I shouted, Obi-Wan! I saw a hand go up. I feel hugely fortunate to be able to do this. 
but also a big responsibility to trying to do it right. Obi-Wan Kenobi is an iconic character. I don't think I'd imagined the scale of the series. It blew my mind. So many people have such an emotional relationship to the Star Wars galaxy. For better and for worse. It's in everybody's life. Disney Plus Day, September 8th. Sick. All right, looks great. Knowing that Hayes gonna be in here too, so it looks like this is probably gonna be more or less focused, more or less like the making of might be. This is gonna be like the making of documentary of the show, kind of, but also gonna be talking about probably the hit, how it is involved in the prequels, and of course, A New Hope. But that's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool to see them kind of reflecting on the prequels, but it's also gonna be cool to see some of the more behind the scenes stuff for the Obi Wan series, man. But yeah. Either way, this show looks awesome, man. Can't wait to um, the show. It's a fucking documentary. It's one episode. But yeah, looking forward to the documentary. Can't wait to watch when it comes out on September 8th. And uh, yeah, man, looking forward to it. Can't wait to watch it, man. Love Obi Wan. This is going to be a fun documentary to watch, man. Especially with how good Lights and Magic was. Anyway, guys, we're going to this video off. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like if you did, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. 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 Follow me on Instagram and